job isn't a job. Fifteen bucks, little man, put that ish. Even know what that means. Well, looky here. The Jolly Golly has GPS. Grandpappy search. Ha! We just have to push this button and the ship will take us straight to Harmony Cord Island. Ahoy! Ahoy! Would you like to join me, mateys and me, and help Captain Goofbeard? Well, put on your pirate hat and set sail! Oh, see, you're gonna need a first mate, aren't you? Why, I've even got my wagon here to help carry treasure. I need supplies. Pipe down now, Pluto. Peg Leg Pete only wants to help. And we can use all hands on deck. Welcome aboard, matey. Much obliged, Captain Mickey. You won't be sorry. And neither will I. Once I get my hands on Captain Goofbeard's treasure. <laughs> Yo-ho, crew. Set sail for Harmony Cord Island. Aye, aye, Captain. It's ho, ho, ho. I wish I had what was inside that trunk. I oh, it's a sad pirate tune I play for you here. I feel like a ship with no rudder to steer. No rudder to steer. Ho, 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 ho. I'm a pirate with no treasure ho, ho, ho. who's lost in a fog. Ho, ho, ho. Now, old Captain Goofbeard's just a worthless sea dog. A worthless sea dog. Come on, come on, open your darn treasure. Don't worry, Captain Goofbeard. We are not sunk yet. There's Peg Leg Pete. That low down sea sponge. Open. Few women become top chefs in New York City, but Fatima Ali has done so. She is the assistant chef at Cafe Centro. She may be the only non-American female chef at any of 70 top New York restaurants. Ms. Ali grew up in Pakistan. She says her training in America has taught her a lot about food. There are so many things that I have been exposed to in the U.S. that I may not have been exposed to in Pakistan, like the plethora of ingredients that are available here. But it's been really interesting taking what I have learned in America and then whenever I go back home to visit and cooking for my family and friends with the ingredients that I love from there. In July, Fatima Ali competed with other chefs on the Food Network TV show, Chopped. She won the top prize of $10,000. The fact that I won, I suppose, was such wonderful validation for all like, the sacrifices that my family has made, that I have made to put myself through school and to be away from home for so long. It felt like it was all really worth it. And the biggest thing for me was to inspire other young Pakistani girls to follow their dreams. Good, looks good. Jan Hoffman is the executive chef at Cafe Centro. She has great potential. And I give her another two to three years, and she definitely will be a master chef. Fatima Ali hopes to return to Pakistan to create services where poor families enjoy low-cost, healthy meals and where young people can learn cooking and other job skills. I'm Barbara Klein. When you're talking about excellence in television, this past year is hard to top. Uh, I don't know about you, but I had a hard time keeping up with it all. Comedy, drama, movies and miniseries, reality and variety. I mean, this year's awards will feature the absolute best of the best. Hey, everybody! Well, hello. in my back pocket. The answer to the question... Hey, what happened? You sure couldn't take it anymore. Why did no one tell me? Ow! 
I don't quite know how to say this. Just start yammering like always. Don't look at me. Look at it! I see you for exactly who you are. I am whatever I need to be at the time I need to be it. No! I shouldn't be good at this. You're special. Sounds like a threat. One day, we are gonna laugh about this. We? Who's we? didn't feel they had lost a daughter, but had gained a son. Goodbye, she helped plan our honeymoon. But I promised them. She was loyal. Uh, she was sensitive <gasps> and had a wonderful sense of value. Hmm. We drove directly to our dream cottage. <laughs> Alone at last. Don't track no mud on them flowers. Well, with the honeymoon over, we settled down to domestic life and got to know each other uh, better. What's the matter? I'll never forget that first evening when I return home. The master showman, that's me, and by special permission of the management, is presenting to you C1 and only Pinocchio. I'm ready, my straw. Which one of this grand new group of characters will be your favorite? Will it be mischievous little Pinocchio himself? Why should you Along be with her? his brother and sister, lady, Marie Berlioz, and her loops. You're not a lady. You're not some sister. <laughs> will it be Geppetto, the kindly old woodcarver? Will it be fluttery, frivolous Cleo, the goldfish? Or will it be roly poly figure? Uh -oh. Might be those wily crooks, Jay Worthington Fowl Fellow, and Raggle Taggle Gideon. Or perhaps Stromboli, the gypsy like puppet master. How y'all doing? Will it be the villainous coachman? Will it be Lampwick, the, the tough little boy your right, folks I'll never wanted you to play with? Or will it be Monstro the Whale, the biggest, noisiest character ever to come to the screen? Or will it be Jiminy Cricket, the only conscience with a sense of humor? Woohoo! And always let your conscience be your guide. Winnie the Pooh and his friends have had so many wonderful adventures, all in a place called the Hundred Acre Wood. Watch, and you'll see one right now. 
Now, even though none of the friends had actually met Heffalump, they were all quite afraid of them. Behold, Heffalump Hollow. All except for young Roo, who was far more curious than fearful and quite determined even to catch one. In the name of the Hundred Acre Wood, I capture you. Okay. Jump. I did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> All that capturing had made Roo a bit hungry, so he and his prisoner took a small break to have a little snack. <laughs> After which, Rue led the fierce creature across the river. But strangely, when Rue lost grip of his robe, it was Lumpy who returned it to him. And it wasn't long before Rue completely forgot that he'd captured Lumpy, because instead they were having the best of fun together. <laughs> did catch a great enemy that day, but rather made himself the very greatest of friends, who together would share many more adventures, all in a place called the Hundred Acre Wood. But that is an entirely different story for an entirely different day. You need money for the meter, money for the toll Don't turn on the heater, daddy's on the dole They tell me that the devil pays good money for your soul We don't got no dough Tell me there's a dollar in the pocket of your jeans you Need money for the baby, the bacon and the beans I'd buy you a dozen roses, but I just don't have the means we don't got no dough Sorry, Mr. Landlord, I cannot pay the rent Run down to the bank and ask them where my money went Then come back and tell me just who overspent Mr. Let me tell you, I blame the government 